Hello everyone, welcome to this session on Drugs and Cosmetic Act 1940 and Rules 1945. In this session, we are continuing with administration of the Act and Rules. So, topic of discussion today is Government Analyst. So, let us begin with Government Analyst. So, first of all, who will appoint government analyst? So, government analyst may be appointed by state government or by the central government. Now, what are the qualifications to become government analyst? So, to become government analyst, person should be graduate in medicine or science or pharmacy or pharmaceutical chemistry. So there is a scope for BPharm candidate to become government analyst and five year experience in the testing of drugs in a laboratory under control of a government analyst means person must be graduate and he or she should have at least five years experience in testing of the drugs in the laboratory and the laboratory which is already in a control of government analyst or or two years training on testing of drugs including items stated in schedule C in CDL. So, Five years experience on in any other laboratory which is in under control of government analyst or two years training in testing of Schedule C drugs. Schedule C actually contains biologicals and other related products. In CDL, CDL means Central Drug Laboratory. So other than this, what else is the requirement? Person should have this qualification or PG degree, postgraduate degree in medicine or science or pharmacy or pharmaceutical chemistry or the associate diploma of the institution of chemist in India with one subject as analysis of drugs and pharmaceuticals means either PG degree in branch of medicine means like MBBS. M, M farm or pharmaceutical chemistry or MSc in pharmaceutical chemistry or a associate SIP diploma plus three years experience in testing of drugs in a laboratory under the control of government analyst or the head of an institution or testing laboratory or has completed training on testing of drugs including items stated in Schedule C in the CDL. So here also three years experience in testing of drugs is required or person must have experience or training. So these are the qualifications to become government analyst. In both of the qualification we said that person should have a training in testing of items stated in schedule C. So for that what are the requirements? So person will be appointed as government analyst and if he is having a degree in medicine, physiology, pharmacology, microbiology, or pharmacy then he should have at least experience of six months in testing the items of schedule C. If person is not having a such degrees then he should have experience of schedule C drugs testing for three years or two years if this experience is or this training is in CDL Central Drug Laboratory. Now for the purpose of examination of 
drugs for the veterinary use then what are the requirements so person who will be appointed as government analyst for this kind of drugs for veterinary use then he should be graduate in veterinary science or general science or medicine or pharmacy and has completed at least 5 years experience in standardization of biological products these are the scheduled c drugs or pg degree postgraduate degree in veterinary general science medicine or pharmacy and at least 3 years experience in standardization of biological products so if ug degree is there then 5 years experience is required if pg degree is there then 3 years experience is required next person who becomes this uh, government analyst should never be engaged directly or indirectly in any trade or business connected with the manufacture of drugs that means there should not be any direct or indirect relation with the any practices which are involved in manufacturing of, of drugs next now what are the duties of government analyst so duty of government analyst is to analyze or test samples of drugs and cosmetics which are sent to him now who will send this kind of samples to the government analyst that will be sent by inspectors or in other word drug inspectors or any other persons under the chapter 4 of this act and after testing and analyzing to furnish reports of the results in accordance with the rules so first analysis then results government analyst should forward the reports to the government about the result of analytical work which is carried out and research and in the view of the publication of such reports and analytical work next what is the procedure on receipt of sample sample will be sent by the inspectors or drug inspectors on receipt of the package of the samples from inspector containing the sample of test or analyst in working of cdl central drug laboratory in a separate session you may watch that using the link in the description we have discussed that the sample how to dispatch the sample so sample is dispatched in uh, package with the seal uh, and uh, separately the specimen of the seal is sent to the uh, CDL or to the director of this laboratory. So here the analyst will receive that sample. So on receival they will compare the seals on the packet on the portion of the sample or container with specimen impression received separately. So to the laboratory in one packet the sample is there along with the memorandum and on the packet there is the seal. In a separate cover the memorandum and specimen copy of seal are sent. So here government analyst will receive that sample and first of all they will compare both the seal so after comparing the seal they will note down or they will record that what is the condition of the seal whether both the seals are matching or not then testing will be done so after testing they have to supply the report of analysis to the inspector now this report is sent in a triplicate form means three copies are sent in a form number 13 and along with the procedure or full protocols of the test or analysis 
applied means they along with the result they have to supply which procedure was followed or which protocol was followed detailed protocol is to be supplied this is the example of form number 13 means certificate of test or analysis analysis by government analyst so what details it includes name of the inspector serial number and date of inspector's memorandum name of the sample date of the receipt name of the drugs condition of seals result of test or analysis with protocols then what is the date and signature of government analyst now the sample received may be of pharmacopoeial drug or patent or proprietary drug or for a patent and proprietary drug which contains pharmacopoeial drugs or some drugs are there for which methods or tests are not available but after receival analyst will have to uh, test or analyze the samples which are received so they will follow some procedure so if pharmacopoeial drug is there then they will follow the pharmacopoeial method for the assay if patent and proprietary method is there and the references are available or the procedure is already protocol is already set by the government then it will be used and if any other method reported in standard books or standard references then that method will be used but they have to comply with the protocols completely and they have to submit a detailed report so this was about government analyst next time we'll discuss one more interesting topic related to drugs and cosmetic act if you have any doubts you may contact me thank you